Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in for today's video. I'm your host, Don with Mobile Doorman. And if you are watching on our YouTube channel, please give this video a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe to our channel so you get all of the latest and greatest video content from Mobile Doorman. So one thing that we like to do here at Mobile Doorman every single month is highlight one of our favorite features within the Mobile Doorman app, right? And along with that, we like to provide usage examples, um, as well as provide some inspiration for, for you, our customers, and our clients so that you can take full advantage of every single feature within your Mobile Dorman app. So for this month, we are going to be highlighting one of our newest features, online events. And um, we still have to practice social distancing, right? And, you know, say, for example, if you have had the opportunity to try out the online events feature, but you're out of ideas, you've done the virtual happy hour, you've done the virtual trivia nights, the game nights, and you're thinking, what can I do next? You know, what other ideas can I come up with? We are excited to share some new ideas and recommendations for you when it comes to using the online events feature in your Mobile Dorman app. So Katie, first of all, thank you so much for, for joining me today. And I'm excited to hear your perspective and, and hear your tips on, you know, what are some new exciting online events that our clients can try today? Yeah, um, the Mobile Dorman online event feature is hosted through Zoom. Um, and I've seen things ranging from bingo nights, um, which is pretty serious bingo with some blackouts and different things happening, um, to a dance off, to some different music, uh, which looked like a lot of fun and great exercise, um, some DIY crafting like candle making, some mixology classes and cooking classes where they deliver supplies to the door for anybody who's RSVP. So it's all hands on and viewing at the same time, plus you get something cool or good to eat out of it. Um, so some great creative ideas from our properties. One of my favorites, though, is a, is a kid's talent show, which now that school's out, it gives kids something to focus on, to polish up on some of their skills, and then highlight that for all of their neighbors. Um, so that was one of my favorites. And the nice thing about the Mobile Doorman online events is that we do all the admin stuff for you. All you need to do is come up with a great idea and you know, post it out to your residents who will probably love your ideas as well. We do all the notifications and sending the links and reminders. So you don't have to worry about any of that. Just planning a great event is the only thing um, that you are responsible for. We'll take care of everything else because we know it's a great way for you to see the smiling faces of your residents and for them to feel connected with their neighbors and also for you for you to feel connected with them and them with you. Um, so as Don said, even though some communities are reopening and reopening amenities, we anticipate that events will remain virtual for some time. So having a solution for virtual events now and also in the future is really needed by properties. Yeah, and that's, and that's a great point, Katie. Uh, so thank you for highlighting that. And so then once a user is logged into the dashboard, then what, what is the next step? How do they go about creating that online event <laughs> and pushing it out to their residents? Well, once our um, customer success team has activated online events for you, um, all you need to do is come over to the left-hand navigation bar and click on events. You'll come to your event calendar. From here, you're gonna add an event just like you would with any other event, but now there's a new button, which is online. So you're gonna click that online button. You'll notice that we populate the contact description, and we also now have an area here for um, co-hosts, which will receive the same notifications that you receive. You can come up here and type in um, the title or the name of your event. So I'm going to do the Kids Talent Show because I simply love that idea. Um, you can put in the start and end date. So I'm going to come down here. And we're going to choose, let's just give those kids a little bit of time to get prepared. We're going to do the 24th of June. So you're gonna set the beginning and end time here for them. You can put in the maximum number of attendees, but you really don't have to. Our Zoom online meetings hold up to 300 attendees. So if you would like to max it out, you can, or you can just leave it open. You can write in your description right here. I have already have that um, in my pasting abilities here. Um, so write in your description. We have the contact description right here for how the Zoom um, works. And then we always recommend uploading a photo that represents what your event is all about. And then you're simply going to create that event. This will be published live for your residents to see through the content tile um, within their resident app where they can RSVP for that. 
Once they've RSVP'd, you'll be able to look in summary of events to see the number of RSVPs for each event that you have upcoming. Now, the great thing is, is that we handle all those notifications, as I said earlier. You, as a property manager, will receive a confirmation as soon as you schedule the event. You'll receive another confirmation email two hours before the event, um, reminding you and also letting you know how many people have RSVP'd. And then five minutes prior, you'll get the link to start your event. In addition to that, we also notify your residents 15 minutes prior to the event, reminding them to download the Zoom app if they haven't already so they can attend the event on their cell phone. And then also one minute before the event, they get the link to join the event with you. Awesome. I love that. And I, I love the fact that our, both the residents and the staff will get notifications uh, before the event as well. And that's all integrated with the mobile doorman app. So I, I, I absolutely love that. And thank you, Katie, for sharing your insights and your tips on that. Um, so be sure to visit our landing page. We do have a feature spotlight landing page if you want additional information or tips on using the online events feature, which I will post in the description below. And if you haven't seen our two other videos already, we do also have a, another video live on our YouTube channel called Tips for Scheduling Virtual Events, as well as our step-by-step -step how to video on creating an online event, which I will also link in the description below. And of course, if you are stumped about what events you want to arrange for your residents, uh, we're happy to assist you with any ideas, marketing wording, um, anything like that. Just log into your dashboard and visit the event feature to see a listing of ideas. And of course, as always, if you have any other questions, our team is always available uh, to take your inquiries and, and be sure to follow us on, on social media for all the latest and greatest on mobile dormant updates. So. With that, Katie, thank you for taking the time to provide us with some tips and insights, and we will see you in the next video.